Hello party people! Today we're gonna make some cookies, Christmas decorating! I have nothing festive on, but there's no time. There's no time. We're running out of time. It's Christmas Eve. The sun goes down at like 2 p.m. I tried to film yesterday at, no joke, 10 p.m. I thought, I, when am I gonna have time to make cookies for money? This is the most important time. I mean, this is the most important thing to do during the holidays. Am I right? Cookies? I'm making these for our neighbors, slash bringing them to all the Christmas festivities that we're going to. We've got a Christmas Eve party. We have two Christmases to go to tomorrow, and then a bonus Christmas the day after. So hopefully I make enough. I'm gonna double all these recipes. What am I making? You might be asking yourself, the classics, really. Snowball cookies, I mean, come on. The dough is eggless, so you can eat as much as you want. Not that that ever stops me anyway, salmonella. I dare you. Brownie crinkle cookies, another holiday classic. It's a favorite, oh my, one of the best cookies I've ever had. I found out about the brownie crinkle cookie at a like Christmas cookie trade. What do they call that? When you like go in with one cookie and you leave with like 50 different assortments. Anyway, I said, what the heck? It was my favorite. Uh, sugar coated pecans, always a holiday staple. And then classic chocolate chip cookies. If I don't get to making the batter, I still have some frozen from when I was pregnant and made a ton. I'm not gonna lie, I've been eating the cookie dough. Don't tell anyone, okay? Oh, and bonus, I got this Griffith's Family Recipe book! Oh my gosh! Missy sent this to me and good lord, I was flipping through it. It was like, Alex said, what's your favorite thing that you got? I was like, the recipe book. <laughs> you know, like, why is this so exciting? Oh, I'm getting old, okay? That's when you know you're in your 30s. You like recipe books. I found a special recipe that I thought I would bring to my holiday gatherings, if I can find it. Uh, here it is. Marshmallow brownies? Uh, say what? So I am going, I know you're not supposed to make something new to bring to places, but I don't care. Have you met me? I don't care. We're just gonna roll up our sleeves. You like my Grinch sweater? I guess I do have something festive on. Hey, we're gonna make this and then all the cookies. I have had the butter sitting out basically for 24 hours. Is that healthy? I think it's fine. So what do I need? I'm just gonna get, you know, the baking essentials. Am I crooked? I'm so sorry. Flour. Oh, by the way, I just cleaned out my baking cabinet. Oh, listen to the angels sing. Just kidding, it's not that great. I shared it with you on like Instagram, but you know. I think that's all I'll need out of it there. Oh, maybe some vanilla, almond, maybe. Uh, okay. Oh, this is flour. I hope I have enough flour. Uh-oh. I'm pretty sure I have some in my freezer outside. Okay, butter. Oh, mini marshmallows. Oh, but wait, I'm gonna make two of them. I need two bags. We were trying to hide them away from Wentworth because he like smells the sugar and can get into anything. This morning he got into sprinkles and I was like, where'd you find these? I still have no idea where they came from. 13 by 17. I need a couple pans, found them. I think, I know I have another one with a lid, but I just don't feel like opening the box. Oh, I got this for Thanksgiving and never used it. I guess there's no time like the present. I don't even know why I said that. This is as good a time as any. How? I'm gonna have to wash this, aren't I? Oh. Ow. Fine, I'll wash it. If you weren't here, I probably wouldn't have done that, okay? I'm sure we need a couple bowls, too. I'm so prepared. I'm out of breath. Who says cooking isn't cardio? Sugar, salt, sugar, wait, what? It says in a medium bowl, beat sugar, salt, and eggs together. What about the butter? Oh, melt the butter. Things are getting interesting. What if I don't feel like melting the butter? <laughs> This is more extensive than brownies from a box. <laughs> okay, sugar, salt, and eggs. Where are the eggs? Got them. Oh, good lord, two cups of sugar? Two cups? Okay. Hey, listen, if the Griffiths eat it, it's, they look good, right? Also, I recently started watching Ruby. She's like my ultimate favorite. She's like who I want to be when I grow up. 
slash I'm already grown, so there's that. There goes that train. Oh gosh, that was two cups. I gotta stop myself. Can I have some sugar, water? Clean the cabinet, I have no idea where stuff is. Anyway, what I was trying to say is, I wanna be a Griffith. Can they adopt me into their family? I feel like everyone in that family is just so like that, you know? Not this. Oh, I also cleaned out my silverware drawer. All kinds of cleaning and organizing going on. I'm gonna whip it up. Because cleaning is the best part of the holiday season, am I right? Oh my gosh, the guests are coming over and make sure under the sink is clean. They're not gonna look under your sink. And if they do, they're crazy. <laughs> That's on them, not you. I don't know how long I'm supposed to let that go for, but it's looking pretty nice. One and a half cups of flour you add. You should probably add this separately, like the flour and baking powder together, but have you met me? And then one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Whip that up. Mother of pearl. I just realized I'm doubling the recipe, but I'm not doubling the recipe. Darn it. You know what? How's your holiday going? It's been pretty tricky for me to get in the holiday spirit, and I don't know if it's because I have a newborn and like three other kids with all of their birthdays within Thanksgiving and then just after Christmas. It's a lot. It's a lot to handle, and then gifts on top of that. So many things. The holidays are busy enough, and then add in the chaos of our family. And I, we went to see Christmas lights last night, though. That was nice. Really, I just want to talk to you and procrastinate not making a second batch. What if they don't turn out good? Maybe I just want to make one batch. Am I justifying my mistake? I'm just gonna melt the butter. I'm supposed to melt the butter on a saucepan and add the cocoa. Who has time to wash a pot? One cup of butter and two cups of sugar. How could this not taste delicious, you know? You can grease the pans with those. Four tablespoons of cocoa powder. The cocoa powder is getting me in the holiday spirit. This smells like Christmas to me. Chocolate just makes me happy. Ugh, I have to clean my microwave before the guests come. I have to sweep and mop. But who cares? Oh my gosh, speaking of who cares, there are a couple people that I have yet to buy gifts for. Like I said, it's Christmas Eve. Am I gonna run to the store and get them something? Probably. But really, at this point, I just feel like whatever I have is good enough. Because who cares? That's not what Christmas is about. My favorite part of Christmas is not the gifts. It's not like I expect other people to get gifts for me. I just enjoy spending time with them. What is that noise? Uh-oh, whatever. So I'm thinking they probably have the same mentality as me. They don't care about the $10 gift I'm gonna get them. They care about spending time with me and my family. So I'm saying whatever to gifts, because I'm over it. I am over it. What's next? Butter. Oh, I should have preheated the oven. Dang it. Don't look in my microwave. It's a mess. What do I preheat it to? Oh, it doesn't say. It doesn't say. 350. I'm sure they had someone proofread this to make sure the temperature was on there. All right. Melt butter and cocoa, then add vanilla. This better be so good. How can it not be? Literally two cups of sugar and chocolate. <laughs> All right, that's nice and melted, and then the vanilla. I don't have vanilla extract, but I do have this fancy vanilla bean paste. I'm just gonna toss some of that in there. <sighs> you know what, this was fairly simple. Oh my gosh, that cocoa butter smells delicious. I'm kind of upset at myself for not doubling the recipe. I'm just preoccupied. I have been very overwhelmed lately. That may have something to do with postpartum or just the holidays, I don't know. There has been a time in my life where I have been so overwhelmed and stressed out that my body broke out in a rash. It's crazy what our bodies can do, you know what I mean? Are you breaking out in a rash? You can blame the holidays. Am I supposed to mix this? What's happening? Wait, spread batter onto cookie sheet? I need a cookie sheet? Too bad. Mmm, this smells so good. Oh wow, yep, yep. This might be a holiday staple after this, you know? You know what, my, isn't there like one treat at the holidays that you always look forward to, whether you're like Aunt Betsy always makes it and you're like, ooh, I hope Aunt Betsy brings this today. For me, that dish, I haven't had in years, but it used to be my Aunt Judy's, like, I don't even know what it's called, because I tried to look it up on Pinterest. It's like a pudding with some kind of, maybe graham cracker in the middle of it, but it was always so like weird but delicious at the same time. I don't know the recipe. If I had it, I would share it with you guys. This is taking longer than I thought to mix. Okay, and might I add, it is looking 
delicious. Oh, I don't want to get this cookbook dirty. It's inevitable though, really. Get that, it's gonna grease the bottom of the pan. Wait, now I'm wondering, is this big enough? Too bad. You work with what you have, okay? That's the motto, that's my motto, good enough. So we're gonna toss this in. Oh, I wish I was a Griffith. Okay, 25 to 30 minutes. Oh man, it took me about five hours to find these walnuts, finally found them. And then I started the sugar balls, snowball snow, what they're called. And I realized I need to make a double batch of the brownies. Let me whip that up really quick. Two cups of sugar, salt, eggs. Let's double it. That worked out. No shells, that's all I care about. One cup of butter, cocoa powder. One and a half cups of flour, baking powder. Can't forget the vanilla. There it is, perfect. Oh my gosh, there's frosting I need to make after this. My head is spinning. This better be so good. Ah, this is hot. Will this ruin the eggs? Do I need to temper it? It's not in the instructions. I'm making a mess over here. You guys can see how this comes together. Pretty crazy. I'm sure I could put this, put my KitchenAid attachment. I don't know why I'm doing it by hand. Because I like to waste my time, I guess. Time means nothing on Christmas, am I right? Oh, yum. Look at that. Oh, yeah. oh, perfect timing, the oven is ready. Oh, look at that. Maybe I should have used a cookie sheet like the instructions said. Oh well, good enough. All right, how long? 25 minutes, I think. Moving on, finally, to the snowballs. Are these gluten free or do they have sugar? I wrote down the recipe. And by sugar I meant flour, and it does. Okay, I figure if I allot myself 20 minutes per recipe, I'll be in here for 24 days, six, too long. How many recipes do I have? Five? Maybe 10 minutes <laughs> a recipe. Snowball cookies. I'm pretty sure I need my food processor for this. Great. Into the labyrinth. Oh my gosh, a mess in here. Don't, just don't look. Oh my gosh, you guys, that cabinet for me is like Monica's closet, okay? <laughs> I thought about organizing it and then I thought, nope. <laughs> Two cups of walnut and you crush them. And if you don't have a food processor or don't feel like washing it or pulling it out, you can do this in a Ziploc bag more because I love walnuts you know what I mean so and then beat it with a rolling pin just as good you know I just realized I want to double this recipe too because you can never make enough of these they're so good my fan oh that's magic right there I'm just gonna dump it in two more cups and I feel like my dad used to make these or some kind of cookie similar to this and uh, we called them surprise cookies because surprise they're delicious i know people have different names for them that's all i'm saying i'm starting to make butter here i just i lost my mind and just let it go oh why did i do that i hope that doesn't ruin it man anyway a rose by any other name am i right just as sweet yeah that's butter right there that's whatever good enough i need five cups of flour pretty sure i don't have five cups of flour in here but we can see what we do have. I'm gonna have to go to the garage and get more. Nothing can be easy, can it? Here I go. At least I stocked up, right? I can at least be happy about that. I don't have to run to the store or order on Instacart. Five cups. Oh, how many did I already add? Two. Uh, three? Good, wonderful, great. Two sticks of butter, but that means an entire pound. Did I lose a stick? This recipe is gonna be just as good as the brownies. This is a lot of butter. I don't know if my KitchenAid can handle all this butter. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. And, ooh, one cup of butter. I mean, sugar. Am I supposed to cream it? Whatever, we're just gonna roll with it. I don't think so. Things are, make, things are getting messy. It's not looking pretty. This is what we're working with. I made a mess. Grabbed a towel. Oh my gosh, a big hunk of chunk fell out. That's good enough, right? Is it that done in there? I think so. Looks good. Oh my 
my gosh, you should see all the crap that fell out. I'll show you. Good thing I haven't swept yet. All of this deliciousness. Okay, good. So now is the fun part. Okay, I don't know if I roll them into balls first and then put them in the fridge, or last time I just cooked them right away. I'm a mess, this is a mess. I'm just gonna cook them right away because who has time to wait for the dough to chill? No, no. no one. This is what Christmas is all about. Will this work? Good. Ooh. Don't spread out when you're cooking. So I'm gonna put them pretty close together and this dough is pretty soft. So I am gonna chill the dough because last time I made them, not that it really matters, but the bottoms, they weren't like snowballs. They were like snow domes. The bottoms got flat. I mean, tasty nonetheless. Am I right? I said I was gonna spread them out, but I'm putting them exactly on the circles. I'm pretty sure you can also make these cookies with almonds or pecans. I think last time I made them with pecans. I don't know though, because I looked back at the recipe. It might be in my recipe book even. And it said walnuts. So I bought some walnuts. So there's that. What are you guys planning on doing for New Year's? Since I know this video will be out just before New Year's. New Year's, right? Am I saying that right? We typically don't really do much for New Year's. New Year? Happy New Year, right? Sleep deprivation is still getting to me, okay guys? A lot of you were like, oh my gosh, how are you doing it with 20 kids? Uh, well, I only have four kids, so there's that. But also, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not doing it all. I just do what I can. I think that's the bottom line. We all just do the best that we can. That's all we can do, you know? All right, I don't know if these silicone mats are gonna work out. I feel like, as I go, the balls are getting bigger. So I'm just gonna finish rolling the balls. I have seven minutes to do so to keep up with my 20 minute per cookie. But technically this is two batches of cookies, but not really, it's one recipe. Whatever. I had to get the flour and stuff. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. can hang out on the beach without freezing yeah isn't that amazing in christmas times we'll be chilling and having a good good time little longer than seven minutes just about eh, I don't know the timer went off maybe like eight minutes that one's big and this one's for me this one too want that delicious I need an oven mitt oh here it is those don't look done at all five more minutes and then what do I do I don't know what to do oh sugar coated pecans but I need my big tray for that let's just get it started Okay. Oh my gosh. I looked, I told you guys, I looked everywhere for the walnuts. Here's another bag. Mother. So you know how sugar-coated pecans are like $50 when you go to a fair? You're not going to believe how simple they are to make. I didn't write the recipe down because they're just so simple. I thought I could remember it. This, my recipe book is sad. This is sad. One day I'll organize it, one day. All right, here it is, sugar-coated pecans. Do you guys say pecans or pecans? Because this is a pecan to me. So. Because my parents grew up in the north, <laughs> but I know if you're south, if you grew up in the south, you say pecan. I don't, okay, moving on. We're gonna double this recipe too. Should I double this recipe? Yeah, sure, why not? What do I do? Ziploc bag. Oh, now I'm second guessing myself. Is it pecans that I needed? or walnuts and I just I bought extra. Let me check and make sure I have walnuts, okay? This has happened before. Alas, 
The cans are in the freezer. But do I have six cups in here? I guess I should check that first, huh? Uh, I don't want to. Just do it. It's my measuring cup. Where is my measuring cup? Where are you? Are you dirty? Did I use it? I guess not. I had to have. I bet you it's in with the flour. There it is. Buried under a mountain of flour. I have to get it. It's my favorite measuring cup. It's really my the only one I use. Ah, all right. Okay, what do we need? Six cups? Oh, I might have barely six cups. It's two pound back. So one, two, three, four. Oh, a sad day. Let me see if I have more. Too many walnuts, not enough pecans. Okay, I'm still gonna do them all. I don't care what you say. You're not the boss of me. I do what I want. What do I put in this bag? I forgot. Two cups of sugar. I did just shy of two cups and the oven is beeping. Maybe, maybe that is done, I don't know. It's wiggling around. Bag can't be done, it's like, it's like gigolo, you know? Ooh, two tablespoons of cinnamon. If you saw my Insta stories when I was organizing this, I found glue in this cabinet. And I was like, what is glue doing in there? I remembered why it was in there because in my head at the time it made sense to put it in there. What is that noise again? Nails on a chalkboard. Oh, okay, this cinnamon puts me in the holiday spirit because it just smells like the holidays. Really, it smells more like fall than Christmas, you know? It's less foresty and more Starbucks pumpkin spice. Two tablespoons. Just seems like I need more. Anyway, did I finish my story? I put the glue next to the cinnamon because my plan was to make cinnamon ornaments. I ran out of time. Time. We, just, we, we made other ornaments. Do you want to see any ornaments that we made? Here they are. Crafting is so much fun. It's like 10% the child's work, 90% the adult's work. This took me an embarrassingly long time to put together. Whoever gets these from us better love us forever and appreciate my handiwork. What do we need? Salt? I just realized, where's the salt? I've not gone to the bathroom since this morning. That's what happens. During the holidays, you just get so busy, you hold it all day. We mix this up in the bag. It's super simple. The brownies are really holding up my cooking process. What's the one activity that you do during the holidays that make you feel like, yes, I love this? I don't have another bowl, and I don't want a dirty one. I need to separate an egg. I need an egg. For me, it is seeing Christmas lights, and we did that last night, and it was a joy. I need the white in this bowl. Yeah, what am I gonna do with this egg yolk? I guess use it for breakfast tomorrow, but will I? Are you done yet? Good Lord. Oh, you know what? That's what happens when you don't listen to recipes because it's said to use a cookie sheet. This is my fault. No one to blame but this girl. Uh, why I'm not a Griffith. What was in this bowl? Oh, the pecans. I was like, there's something filthy in this bowl. Oh wait, we're doubling the recipe, I need two eggs. Thanks for reminding me, where would I be without you? I was like, how am I gonna put all those pecans in there? Pecanos. All right, you just froth the egg whites until they're frothy. This is gonna take up my whole 20 minutes per recipe, you know? Turbo speed. Two teaspoons of water, two teaspoons of vanilla. Superb. Don't spill it, don't spill it. Everybody's watching, don't let them down. Two teaspoons, e accurate. It's perfect. Two. Well, you know what? I think that was one teaspoon. Let's try for another. Don't let them down. It reminds me of that one like Freddie Prince Jr. movie where he's doing hacky sack and he's like, everybody's watching. That's just too much. Let's pack the cookies, okay? <laughs> Wait, what's his name? What's his name? He's like, because he's talking to himself. Everybody's watching. Come on. His name is something just like Bryce or something. I'm gonna have to look it up. That's gonna bother the crap out of me. I got it. He said, come on, Zach. Never let it drop. All right, back to cookies for real now. <laughs> you can't ever let it drop. And then it drops. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Cause that's life. Okay, uh, the, all the pecans go back in the party bowl. If you're wondering if I cleaned my counters before I started, nope. 
I did. What are you gonna do about it? You're not my real dad. Mix it all up in that frothy deliciousness. Once everything is coated, you just throw it in the bag. Give it a good judge. Oh, those brownies, it's been like an hour. The edges are crusty, but the middle is not. What do I do about it? Should I take it out? Five more minutes. I'd love to have five more minutes. How's that song go? It's by that one guy who won American Idol. What's his name? The country guy. When, when it's time, you just throw them on a pan Cook them at 325 for one hour and you stir them up every 20 minutes. I It's gonna take me hours before they're ready to go in and we have to leave soon. <clears throat> I'll show you the recipe. There it is. Take a screenshot of it if you feel so inclined to. All right, I guess we'll take a break and just clean everything. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> We're gonna move along <laughs> to I'm not gonna make the chocolate chip cookies. I'm just gonna throw in my frozen ones. Oh, gross, I got dough all over my book. Oh, hold on. But since I have it open, I'll show you the, um, the cookie recipe. It's one of my favorites. There it is. If you wanna take a screenshot of that, oh my goodness, you won't regret it. You know what, we're gonna round it out here by just making the frosting, the Griffiths frosting the brownies that I messed up and this is precisely why you're not supposed to try a new recipe and I don't care I'm gonna bring it anyway I don't care do I need this still what else am I making oh the crinkle cookies oh I probably need that for the frosting okay what am I doing what am I doing right now all right I think my battery died just because we've been hanging out for so long you know uh, so I don't know where I left off I'm going to make the frosting for brownies that are still not cooked I tidied up just a smidge, just enough, just to pass the time. One cup of butter. I don't have any more butter that's ready to go. One cup of butter. Jeez Louise. I don't have any more vanilla. I have rum extract, Hey, but I think I'm just gonna use almond extract. Uh, I need some powdered sugar. Okay, so what do we do? In a saucepan again? No, thank you. One cup of butter, and you know what? Kudos to Alex for holding baby Meredith while she's sleeping. I think yesterday I wrapped a whole bunch of gifts while I was baby wearing her, so as you can imagine, and then the table's like down here, my back, I was like, oh my gosh. But she slept the whole time. Thank the heavens. One cup of butter melted. I burned myself. It doesn't feel good. The wall's in the oven. Oh, that whole time I couldn't even, you know, putting these in the fridge. I wasn't thinking. That's my life. How long do I cook those? I don't know. 20 minutes. Oh my word, you guys. I even pulled out this apron. A cousin gave it to me and I thought, oh, this will be great. I can wear it when I do my, my cook with me. You know what it reminds me of? Uh, I used to work at an Italian restaurant and I used to have to wear an apron. Not as cute as this though. Oh, 20 minutes. Did I set the timer? Good. What are we doing over here? Melted butter. I was talking to some people and thinking, I should make my own cookbook. The people who I was speaking to, they were rooting me on, so I would say you are a bad influence. <laughs> anyway, what reminded me of that is I just took a thumbnail in this thinking, yeah, I can make, I can make a cookbook. <laughs> and a third cup of milk. I'm gonna have so many dishes to do. It's not that bad, it's not that bad. Mix that. Ooh. Okay, I need a lot of powdered sugar. Quite sure I might have to go back to the garage again. My favorite place. Here I go. Here I go again. I kind of want to be more than friends. Okay. Was that three cups? Okay, this is less like frosting and more like a drizzle. Oh, but maybe once you put it in the fridge, it like hardens up, you know, of all that butter. Oh, mix well using hand mixer. Now you tell me. Oh, it's thickening up a little bit as I go. Oh my gosh, wait, 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 wait. The marshmallows. You're supposed to spread the marshmallows on top of the brownies while they're cooling, before they cool, before they cool. Maybe if I put the lid on, it'll trap in the heat a little bit. If this recipe turns out, it's gonna be a miracle. We taste the frosting. It's okay. It's okay. I 
should share with you my brownie frosting recipe to die for. It's thicker than that. I don't feel like putting this away right now, so I'm not going to. <laughs> I need some water. Look, it has pockets. Isn't that cute? What am I gonna put in those pockets? My recipe? <laughs> I don't know. Cheers to you. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Thanks for being my friend, hanging out with me while I bake, kind of. Okay, now I know, first of all, the marshmallows like barely melted. I guess they're getting there, they're getting there. Uh, my hands are clean, I just did dishes, proof. And I also realized I only made one batch of this. Oh, come on, Kim, when are you gonna learn? Yeah, don't let this cool because it gets a little thick and then you won't be able to like put it over here. So, oh, come on. I did so many things wrong, but I bet you it's still going to be delicious. I bet Ruby never messes this recipe up. You know? I am uninvited to the Griffith Christmas gathering. Anyway, that looks okay. Whatever, good enough, right? We'll see how it tastes. That's the real challenge. Because if it tastes good, then it doesn't matter what it looks like, really. I'm making the second batch of frosting and realizing, holy cow, forget about delicious. Let's talk about all my clogged arteries I'm gonna have after literally four sticks of butter in one pan. The sugar cookies are done. They're not sugar cookies. Ooh, and they look really good. These don't look as good. Are they supposed to have the crack on top? I don't know. Hmm, I don't know. Who cares? Here's the fun part of the recipe. You're su supposed to make it snow. Yay! This is the fun, whimsical part and the messy part. Uh, you know what? I took my apron off because it was getting too hot. Uh, is that good? Good enough. Can I take these off and, ooh, look at that skill. I got the skills to pay the bills. Ouch! Oh wait, there's two mats here. Oh boy, what am I gonna do, what am I gonna do? Everybody's watching, Zach. Everybody's waiting. Some of them got gypped with the uh, coating. That's okay. Time to cook, whoa, the pecans. Perfect, wonderful, great, moving along. We're licking spoons and making a mess. Don't, don't touch that, I have the hiccups. Pecans onto the tray, spread up. Uh, spread them out, give them their own little space here, and every 20 minutes you just give them a little toss. Even more dishes. I finished the second one. This one might look a little better. And when I bring it to the, our party tonight, I'm gonna say with confidence, oh yeah, don't you know about the Griffiths family? Brownie mix is the best thing I've ever had in my life. So satisfying. So satisfying. That. Eleanor and Wentworth are helping me make the crinkle cookies. I love them. Yeah, they're the best, right? Mm -hmm. I love them. You they're love every cookie. cookie. <laughs> actually, I never tried them, but they're gonna be good. Thanks, I know. Just know it. Everything Christmas yeah, is for me. Cookie. Every school likes Christmas, okay? <laughs> okay. Not Halloween, not Easter. Not any of those. No, candy. The, my favorite part of the symbol that it's a school year, um, that winter Just, yeah. of Christmas, it's like winter break off. I mean, you get 16 days without school and work. Yeah, so cool. pretty crazy. Uh -huh. and, the, and this is Christmas Eve. Tomorrow is Christmas, and I can't wait for Wednesday. I just wanted to show you a shot of the pecans. You might think you messed up because it looks like a Dagon mess, but that's what it's supposed to look like. That's why they're worth $50, right? No cleanup when you buy them from the carnival. Here they are, all finished. Yes, look at that. Ooh, piping hot. There it is. Ooh, delicious. Who doesn't want that in their mouth? All right, now I have to clean off the pan and I'm gonna put the frozen cookie dough balls on there. Oh no, wait, the crinkle cookies. Whatever, either one. Look at those beautiful crinkle cookies. Let's check out the fruit of our labor so far. And then the hardest part is our freezer cookie dough balls. Here, I'm just throwing some on a tray, not too many. 
but enough, you know? And I'm asking for a friend. Can I cook cookies and Brussels sprouts in the oven at the same time? I'm gonna say yes. Uh, uh yeah, I'm gonna tell her yeah, thanks guys. All right, the neighbor gifts over here, looking pretty fly. I'd be excited if my neighbor dropped that off on my doorstep. So there's that. Yeah, we're gonna go drop them off and hopefully the cookies don't taste like Brussels sprouts. Update on the brownies. I couldn't leave you guys hanging. Uh, they are amazing. Um, how could they not be, right? So I brought them to two Christmas parties and they were a hit. Delicious and very rich and very, uh, I'd make them again, let's say that. Before the sun goes down and we leave, I figured I would say goodbye, I would bid you adieu, but thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out and baking with me. If you, uh, let me know how your holidays went. I hope you had a fantastic holiday. I know things can get crazy and chaotic and overwhelming, but I just try to remind myself the reason for the season and I try to slow down because really nothing else matters, right? Nothing else matters. I'm gonna pop up some uh, footage of the Christmas lights we saw last night, and that will be it for me. I'll see you next time. Bye. Well, I'm all for Christmas. All the happy smiles and the wishes. And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe Tell me one thing Is there anything that you're missing? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow Whatever we do, we will be alright these holiday wonders will open your mind May all your wishes tonight come true The love I live, the dream I knew This Christmas I only wanna be close to you